just so people understand where where you are and what you're uh, what you're going through right now, you're outside Kiev, right? Yeah. So it's a checkpoint right outside of Kiev. It's a town uh, in the north uh, of the city, and so I am with a group of volunteers who answer the country's call. Let me get this angle together. Who answer the country's call to uh, pick up arms in the fight against Russia, and I'm embedded with one of those groups and we were at a um we were at a military base and the job of these people um is to uh, ensure that every car coming and going through that area is um you know it, it, it is safe it's not going to be bring any harm to volunteer volunteers yeah this is one of the volunteers right now Andre. it's kmz hey guys. yeah so i was just telling them we just got hit with a strike yeah yeah we yeah. As we were approaching our positions, uh, we were attacked by uh, presumably um, strike air ground, uh, strike airplane SU-25 uh, air to missile, two air to missile landed just across from our positions, leaving five wounded. The people you're working with, are they military, do they have military training or are they really just out there trying to, you know, put this together? They're just out here trying to put this together. So. Listen, you have museum directors, you have shoemakers, you have a lawyer, you have people who are who, who are pursuing careers in solar energy. Th these are pretty much ragtag groups of people, and the most of the experience that they do have come from the time when they did security at their previous, uh, the previous revolutions and protests, but anything outside of being, it, it's all things outside of being a professionally trained military person. These, are, again, these people are, it's like they're throwing everything, like all, all the shit at the wall and waiting for something to stick because you're going against the second most powerful military on earth. What's the end game in terms of how the Ukrainians think they can fend off Russia? Well, the end game is a complete and total victory of Ukraine over the aggressor. And that's that's the only end game that I envision in the in the very nearest future. Uh, there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of young people, not so young people, that are ready to fight out there in the streets. They are armed, uh, and thanks to your government and many other governments, we have real good weapon to to deter any attack and any equipment. So I just uh, pray for vigilance and 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 intelligence of our government of our military service personnel our command to to plan out deterrence of these attacks in a, the smartest way ever so uh, but uh, boots on ground and the grass uh, at the grassroots level everybody's ready to fight just show us what to do and you know it'll be done it, it's 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 just not possible for them to come into kiev they're gonna need uh, all-out war all-out resistance total annihilation what is your impression of Zelensky, who has just captured the imagination of the world? It's not my political preference, but I stand by my president. At this, uh, this, this is not the time for uh, political controversy, rivals, and discussions. He is doing a great job at, his, at this moment, as I perceive, and I would like him to go on like that. And he will have my support and, all, and my friend's support, who probably not sharing this political preference, but at this moment, this is not the time for this. We stand by our president, he's, he's doing a good job.